when we rejoice in the resurrection of our Lord. That in Christ, God came into this world to teach us how to live in ways that bless others and glorify Him. And uh, He demonstrated that love on the cross, after which He rose again for us. And His Spirit is with us always to bless us as we live out His plans for our lives. So this is truly a day of celebration. And if you are a visitor here to Zion Church, we want you to feel warmly when he rose up from the tomb. Were you there?
1 of chapter 16, when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early on, the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to him. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb for terror and amazement. And seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. And God added his blessing to the reading of his holy word. Let's pause for a moment of prayer. Oh God, we thank you for this blessed day. We thank you for our faith, which reminds us that not even an enemy as great as death is too great for you to overcome. We praise you for the way that, that fills every moment of our lives, even the challenging ones, with hope. For you are there with us in your spirit, working through those moments, bringing meaning to them, preparing us for the eternal life that you have ready for us through our faith, through your love that cleanses us, beyond this world. We pray that you bless us as we meditate upon your word that fills us with that hope today, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Well, a few months ago, I was uh, watching a movie with my boys, Elijah and Ethan. And uh, after about an hour, we realized that this movie was so bad that uh, we became convinced that the entire cast had somehow lost the script before filming. I mean, the plot took so many turns, it got lost. But uh, I'm glad we didn't give up too quickly on the film because there was this scene in it, scene with an ice cream. Uh, and the ice on this ice rink was being resurfaced by a Zamboni machine. And that, that big machine that removes damage from the top layer of ice so that uh, the ice rink can be safely used again. And uh, so this got the boys and I talking about Zamboni machines and their history. A conversation which ended up being really fruitful because we realized uh, during our discussion that there's something about Zambonis that can teach us something very important about our Christian faith. So you see, God can speak to all of us through anything, even B-movies. But uh, many of you here today have undoubtedly seen a Zamboni in action never gone skating at an indoor rink or you've watched an NFL ice hockey game.
his time of incarnation on this earth uh, to demonstrate to us how to live, to live, to share, to give to others around us. And by the way, that the early Christians shared Holy Communion, uh, we can see that they understood and grasped that message. In the early church, communion was celebrated in the context of a meal. Uh, those of means, those who had much would invite other people in the church uh, with very little, who were poor, and literally invite them into their homes and uh, prepare a feast for them. And everybody at the end of that feast, when they were full, would share the bread and the wine. And this holy sacrament was a way uh, to remember Christ's love, that they were forgiven. It was a way also to remember how they could best preach of that love in the world by sharing with each other and others. So as we receive the sacrament today, let's pray for that same spirit in ourselves. In everything that we do, be the kind of people who give and support others. Let's prepare our hearts for a moment of silence, and then I'll invite you to join me.
blood of Christ shed for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us drink of it together. 